In this video, I got 10 more Redbubble trends, the last trends for 2020, and I got a special tip at the end of this video. You're gonna wanna stay to the end. Let's go. Thank you all for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 Redbubble trends, just like I always do. These are 10 more Redbubble trends that you haven't seen. Three of them are hot trends and seven of them are low competition trends. People have been asking, are these Redbubble trends good on Merch by Amazon? And so I'm going to show you how you can check if these trends are good for Merch by Amazon. I'm going to do that at the end of the video during the trend credits. So the best way to show you the Redbubble trends, the last trends of the year, is to go on Redbubble and let's go there now. So here we are on Redbubble. I'm going to start with a hot trend. So the next big holiday you should be trying for is Valentine's Day. So let's start with love right here. Type in love. You can see here love is not canceled is trending. So I'm going to do love is not canceled. And you can see there's three of them. So it's really trending. Canceled with two L's, canceled with one L, canceled shirt specifically. Let's do canceled with one L. So you're going to use all those tags when you design this one, as well as all these tags here. So if, if it's relevant, right? If it's not a Filipino thing, don't do that. But uh, 2021 Valentine's Day, of course, could be relevant. Valentine's design could be relevant. All of these things, just make sure that they match your design. So love is not canceled. You can see here about 747 results, which isn't so bad for a Valentine's shirt. If you typed in like 2021 Valentine's here, like 5,000, that, that's really high. So if we go back, this one, love is not canceled, um, kind of low on in perspective, right? So here's kind of the competition here. Love is not canceled. You can see here for t-shirts, people are looking at for t-shirts. So be quick on this one. This is a Valentine's related shirt. So love is not canceled. And of course, you're not just putting these words on a shirt. Make sure yours are better than the ones are here or else you'll just get buried, right? You want to make sure that your design is better than what's here already so that you can move up on the list and people will buy yours instead of these. Because if yours isn't better than these, guess what? They're going to buy these instead. So I'm showing you the trends, but you have to execute on making it better, right? So love is not canceled. That's number one. Um, 747 results. So for your next hot trend, it's not Valentine's related, but it is a big topic. Life is better with pizza and gaming. So both pizza and gaming are big topics, but you put them together, you know, people are going to want to get these. So life is better with pizza and gaming. This is a hot trend. About 1,400 results, so a little more than the other one, but still not so bad, not in the 5,000, 10,000 range. So let's look at this. The thing I like about this one is I think a lot of you can still compete with this. Like, look at these. This is the best selling. Let's look at the best selling. Like, look at that. That's just text. That's kind of clever, but I think we can, I think if you are designing these, you can design it better. So, of course, your audience for this one are people who love pizza and video games. Usually that goes hand in hand anyway. If you like video games, you probably love pizza. This is a great one. Life is better with pizza and gaming. That's your trend, hot trend number two, only 1400 results. So for my next trend, I'm gonna type in, I raise tiny dinosaurs. So that's a neat way of saying I raise chickens because chickens or dogs or whatever, I, I think they look like tiny dinosaurs. Chickens more for me. I don't know why dogs are here, but I guess some dogs kind of look like dinosaurs. So let's look at here, best selling. This will be your competition. So I raise tiny dinosaurs. A lot of them are using the vintage sunset. So do something different, right? So you don't compete with these unless yours can be better than the ones that are already out here with Vintage Sunset. But I would try and do something different so you can stand out that's better. 
I raise tiny dinosaurs, you can see it right here. A lot of chicken ones, so think of ways that you can put a chicken in there. And again, right here, look at all these other tags. Remember to put these tags when you're designing it. Chicken lady, chicken lovers, funny chicken lover, chicken mom, that kind of thing. So this one has about 1,500 results. Think of a better way to do it so that you can stand out and make some sales on this trend. Okay, so those three were your hot trends. Now let's go into some low competition trends. The next trend for you, trend number four, I'm gonna type in Mars, here we come. So Mars and rockets and space have been in the news lately. And of course, that's trending. You can see the rockets here. 261 results, pretty low here. Let's look at the best selling. I'm guessing mostly rockets, spacemen, you know, pictures of Mars, that kind of thing. So think of different things that you can do here. So lots of other good tags too with this one. So you can see right here. So not only will you type in this tag, but type in some of these tags if they're relevant to your design, right? I think a lot of them will be. So Mars, here we come. This is trend number four for you. So this next one is kind of Valentine's related. You'll see what I mean when I type it in here, stealing hearts and blasting farts. So let's look at it here. Not sure where this came from. It sounds like something from a movie or something someone made up, but 223 results here. So of course, uh, Valentine's related because stealing hearts. So there's lots of different ways you could do this. Let's look at some of the competition here. Most of these are text heavy. So if you come in here with a nice graphic and um, put it together in a nice way, I think you'll do really well in this one. Mask stickers and t-shirts should be the ones you're concentrating on for this one. Stealing hearts and blasting farts, that is your trend number five for this video. So for trend number six, I have another Valentine's related one. I like you more than originally planned. So maybe for someone like, maybe like a friend or someone you didn't originally like so much and now you do, I like you more than originally planned. I don't know if that's a nice thing to say to someone, but it is pretty funny. So turns out I like you more than originally planned. Again, a lot of these are very text heavy too. So you can come in here, put in some nice graphics, only 133 results. These are the best sellers right here. So look at, don't forget uh, cards. They do well for Valentine's. If you can design a card for this, make sure that when you do your cards though, make sure if you're gonna put a background, go all the way to the edge, right? So. A lot of times it doesn't. You're gonna to have to make sure that your template is made for these cards. So just one hint there. Nice card there. Cool. So this is your competition. Pillows as well, look at that. So if you can make it work for pillows, pillows are more square. Stickers can be square uh, or longer rectangles and t-shirts usually are taller rectangles. So keep that in mind. As well as cards. Cards usually are tall rectangles. So Keep that in mind. Some really cool designs here. So have fun with this one. You got some time before Valentine's Day. I like you more than originally planned. Only 133 results, so I would go after this one. So my next one is New Year's related, and I know it's too late to do New Year's things, but this one can be used for other things. So I'm gonna type in Happy New Tier. So, so not sure what Happy New Tier means, for everyone, but for me, it means like the new tier in Merch by Amazon. So this could be something, you know, you could do with a sticker or think of those kind of things with Amazon. Uh, there could be other things for Happy New Tier. It is trending 130, 113 results. So it could be some video game thing. I'm not sure. Yes, it's a Happy New Year kind of theme, but I think it can be done for other things. So. Think of other ways that you would use this Happy New Year tier. This is trend number seven. For trend number eight, I'm gonna do a dog trend here. Husky on watch. So you can see here, lots of people love Huskies and you can see some of these other tags you could use here with Husky on watch. But look at all these, these are really cool. If you already have a Husky design, you could use this tag Husky on watch. It doesn't actually have to say Husky on watch for you to use this tag. I think if you have a Husky 
like some of these, that's perfectly fine as well. So, so this is trend number eight, Husky on watch, only 107 results. Have fun doing this one. So trend number nine is a fun one. Let me show you what I mean. I get my, you can see here, I get my attitude from my freaking awesome mom or my freaking awesome dad or my freaking, without the G, awesome mom. I'm gonna do this one, but of course, you can use either one of these as well as some other family members if you want to, but these are the ones that are trending right now. So, so you can see here, 96 results, best-selling, let's look at these. So lots of ways you can do this. Don't forget about stickers and t-shirts. It's kind of a long phrase, so you're gonna have to make sure you design it in a way that it all fits and reads well. You're gonna have to use some creative ways of putting it together. So bigger and smaller, you know, words and things like that. So, so like you saw in the, let's look at some of the other ones. Freaking with a G. So this one has a little bit more results, but still you could use both of those as well. So I get my attitude from my freaking awesome mom with a G or without a G. That is trend number nine. So for my last trend in this video, trend number 10, parrot watching you. Not sure where this is from. I don't know if this is from a show or not, or just people who love parrots that watch each other, but let's see, best selling. I mean, people do love parrots, they're, they're really cool. So you can see here, parrot watching you. So maybe parrots stare, I don't know, I don't have a parrot so always watching. Or you could just have a parrot that's looking at you, doesn't have to have the words. This one says always watching, <laughs> look at, let me look at you, that's a cool one. So parrot watching you, 89 results, so very, very low results here. I think you could break into this one if you have Parrots, and it would make a great sticker too. You could, you saw some of those parrot stickers. I think that would make a great sticker. So parrot watching you, that is trend number 10. So that's all the 10 trends that I have for you today. I'm gonna to show you a list of them all together so that you can take a snapshot. Let me go there now. So here it is. Here's the list of all 10 trends that I shared in this video. So nice list so that you can take a snapshot right here and use this as a to-do list for what to upload to Redbubble this week. Thanks for staying till the end for the last trends of 2020. Hopefully this was really helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you like these trends. I'm gonna try and continue to do them throughout 2021 as well. So stay tuned for another edition, a special edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying till the end for a special edition of Trend Credits. In these Trend Credits, I'm gonna show you how you can check if those Redbubble trends are actually trending on Amazon. So let me go here. This is how you do it. In Amazon search, you can just type in any of those trends. I'm gonna do the one uh, Stealing Hearts, because I like this one, Stealing Hearts and Blasting Farts. You can see it's actually showing up in the search, so that's a good sign that people are actually looking for it on Amazon. So I'm gonna click here. And then you can see here, there's only 340 results. So that's another good sign, not very high results. And I'm gonna scroll down here. Another good sign are low BSRs. I'm looking for under 500,000, right around 500,000 or lower. So you can see this one is 470,000 lower. This one's around 500,000. This one's lower, oh, that's the same one. So. This one's about 671, not too bad. That's a million, 577, 461. So you got a bunch that are lower or around 500,000. And then you got some other ones that are higher. So I would say this is a good one, a good trend. I mean, it's not the best trend, but it is trending because you can see it is selling. And I believe as we get closer to Valentine's Day, since this is a Valentine's theme shirt, it's probably gonna get better and better so this now's the time to jump on this one. You can see these just straight text ones are selling, so that's a great sign. And of course you wanna check Merch Informer, Competition Checker, I typed it in here, Stealing Hearts and Blasting Farts, it's getting an A. So all those things together signify that this trend that was trending on Redbubble is also trending 
on Amazon. So that is your trend for today for Amazon. The same trend we saw in Redbubble, you can use it here on Amazon. So that's how you find out. You can do the same thing with any of the trends that I shared in any of my trend videos on Amazon. Type it in here and do the same thing, do the same checks with the search, if it's showing up in search, if you have low results, and if you have low BSRs. I'm using DS Amazon Quick View plugin to see these. You may not see that unless you have it. I have a link in the description for that, as well as a link in the description for Merchant Former if you don't have this as well. So thanks so much for staying all the way to the end with me. Hopefully this video is super helpful for you. I hope you make lots of sales in 2021 and can get on these trends. Remember, trends are just to put eyeballs on your designs. You're still gonna have to make your designs look really good to stand out because it needs to be better than these up here that are already selling or else the people that get on here are just gonna buy these instead of yours because these are better than yours. Hopefully that makes sense. So. Trends aren't everything, they're just a way for you to know what to design. You still have to come up with a great design so people want to buy yours instead, right? Thanks again for staying to the end. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.